Hello, I'm Gupta, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Hyderabad, India. Today, I'm going to show you how to add AWS Identity and Access Management Identity Center successor to AWS Single Sign-On as a federated identity provider to an Amazon Cognito user pool. Let's get started. Amazon Cognito user pools allow federated sign-in through third-party IDPs, including the IAM Identity Center as a SAML IDP. First, let's set up an IAM Identity Center environment on an AWS account. Note, you can skip this section if you have a working IAM Identity Center environment. Sign in to the AWS Management Console and navigate to IAM Identity Center Console. Choose the region that you want and then choose the Enable button. This creates an environment with the identity center directory as the identity source. Let's create a user. Choose the user section from the left navigation menu. Choose the add user button. Enter the username and all other required attributes. When you are done, choose next. Add the user to a group if you have any. For now, we can skip this. Choose Next. Review the details entered and then choose Add User. Let's now configure an Amazon Cognito user pool with default settings. Navigate to Amazon Cognito user pool console. Select the Add User directories to your app in the drop down list and Choose Create User Pool. Select the Federated Identity Provider checkbox and choose the attributes in your user pool that are used to sign in. I'm choosing email for this demonstration. Next, choose SAML for the Federated Sign In options and then choose Next. Let's keep the default password policy. Select the type of MFA method if you want to have. MFA authentication for your Amazon Cognito native users. This is not applicable for federated users. I'm choosing no MFA for now. Let's keep the default section for user account recovery. Choose next. Choose the settings for self-service signup and attribute verification and account confirmation that you need. I'm using the default settings. Select the required attributes that you want to have on your user pool. Email is automatically selected for me based on my previous selection of the configuration. Choose Next. For email settings, let's choose Send Email with Amazon Cognito for now. Choose Next. We will skip this section for now and configure this after creating the SAML application in the IAM Identity Center. So, select Skip for now and choose Next. Enter a name for your user pool. Enter a domain name. Enter domain names are dynamically checked for availability. Make sure that the domain name you entered is available. Provide a name for your app client. Enter your application's URL in the allowed callback URL section. This is the URL of the page where your user is redirected to after a successful authentication. For testing purpose, I'll use my local host. Expand advanced app client settings. For OAuth 2.0 grant types, choose only implicit grant for now. Let's leave the default settings for remaining. Choose next. Review all the settings and note the Amazon Cognito domain. Choose create user pool. When it's finished, copy the user pool ID. We'll use them when we configure the SAML application in IAM Identity Center. Now, let's create a SAML 2.2 application in the IAM Identity Center. Navigate to IAM Identity Center console. Under the Application Assignment section, choose Applications. Choose Add Application and then choose 
add custom saml 2.0 application choose next change the display name to amazon cognito application and provide a description for example application for amazon cognito usable copy the url of the iam identity center's saml metadata file or choose the download hyperlink we'll need them when configuring the saml identity provider in the amazon cognito user pool for now i'm copying the link now under the application metadata section choose manually type your metadata values for the application acs url paste the amazon cognito domain and append it with slash saml to slash idp response for application saml audience provide choose submit under the actions drop down list choose edit attribute mappings and provide the values as and the format as persistent choose add new attribute mapping and provide the user attribute in the section as email and in the maps to the string value or user attribute in iam identity center enter this and the format as basic choose save changes now choose assign users and then select the user that we created previously choose assign users now let's configure iam identity center as a saml identity provider in the amazon cognito user pool navigate to amazon cognito user pool console and then choose a user pool inside the sign in experience section choose add identity provider in federated identity provider sign in choose saml and enter a provider name now choose enter metadata document endpoint url in the metadata document source paste the url that you copied earlier while creating the saml 2.0 application in the iam identity center in the saml attribute provide the email choose add identity provider now you must add this identity provider to our user pool app client to do this navigate to app integration section open your app client from the app clients list in the host ui section choose edit now choose the selected identity provider drop down list select the iam identity center provider that we created in the previous section scroll to the bottom and choose save changes now let's test the setup from the host ui Within the host ui section of your app client choose view host ui button now you see the amazon cognitos host ui page choose the iam identity center provider we are now redirected to the iam identity center login page enter the credentials of the user that we created earlier After the successful authentication you are redirected to the callback URL and the JWT tokens issued by Amazon Cognito are visible in the URL with this you have successfully configured IAM identity center as identity provider of your user pool and now you know how to add IAM identity center as a federated identity provider to a Amazon Cognito user pool Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS